Hey everyone, iOS 12.1 now lets you FaceTime with up to 32 people. So instead of having a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime, now you could do it with up to 32 people and I wanted to show you how to use it in this video. So first, make sure you have iOS 12.1. So the latest version of the iOS as of the time of this recording is 12.1. That one will let you do that group FaceTime. Make sure you have that on. Next, let me show you how to get to FaceTime. So FaceTime has its own app by default. So if you look for FaceTime on your phone, you could just search for it. This is the icon for it. I'm gonna go ahead and launch FaceTime. And if it's the first time you've logged into FaceTime, it looks something like this. And to add someone, we wanna click the plus sign right on top and we could add up to 32 people here. So let me go ahead and add a couple people. And if you see when you search for people, if they're grayed out, that means they don't have iOS 12.1, so they can't use this function. So if you scroll through your contact here, when you see someone that's blue, so these couple people are blue, that means they also have the latest iOS here, 12.1 or later. So if I click their name, on the bottom here, I could audio and video group FaceTime them. If they don't have it, so if I type A to pull all my A's, you could see all these are gray. That means they don't have it yet, so I cannot add them. They have to have iOS 12.1, meaning they have to be on an iPhone and have it updated. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. So next, you could press audio or video to start the group chat. I'm just gonna go ahead and press audio here. And the other way to do it is you could just go to your messages and whenever you have a group, you could select the top and you could select FaceTime from there. So you could initiate a FaceTime group message right here through a group chat. Again, they have to have iOS 12.1 if you do use multiple people here. I'm gonna go ahead and press FaceTime and it does create this kind of look here on the FaceTime so if you have up to 32 people it's going to create 32 windows here and on the bottom here if you press the three dots you could always go ahead and add a person right here and search through your contact and add another person to this FaceTime message here let me go ahead and cancel out of here and that's a couple of different ways to use the FaceTime app to connect or use the group chat on your chat to connect to FaceTime and up to 32 people are allowed to join you on that video or audio FaceTime. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for daily tech videos just like this one. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.